means the following. Isostasy, general equilibrium in the Earth's crust, maintained by a yielding flow of rock material beneath the surface under gravitational stress. This vital role of mountains that was discovered by modern geology and seismic research was revealed in the Quran centuries ago as an example of the supreme wisdom in God's creation. We placed firmly embedded mountains on the earth so that it would not move under them. In one of the verses, we are informed that the mountains are not motionless as they seem, but they are in constant motion. You will see the mountains you reckon to be solid, going past like clouds. Such is the artistry of God, who disposes of all things in perfect order. Surely He is aware of what you do. This motion of the mountains is caused by the movement of the Earth's crust that they are located on. The Earth's crust sort of floats over the mantle layer, which is denser. It was at the beginning of the 20th century when, for the first time in history, a German scientist by the name of Alfred Wegener proposed that the continents of the Earth had been attached together at the initial phases of the world but then drifted in different directions and thus separated as they moved away from each other. Geologists understood that Wegener was right only in the 1980s, 50 years after his death. Discovered as a result of the geological research carried out at the beginning of the 20th century, this movement of the Earth's crust is explained by scientists as follows. The crust and the uppermost part of the mantle, with a thickness of about 100 kilometers, are divided into segments called plates. There are six major plates and several small ones. According to the theory called plate tectonics, these plates move about on Earth, carrying continents and ocean floor with them. Continental motion has been measured at from 1 to 5 centimetres per year. As the plates continue to move about, this will produce a slow change in Earth's geography. Each year, for instance, the Atlantic Ocean becomes slightly wider. There is a very important point to be stated here. God has referred to the motion of mountains as a drifting action in the verse. Today, modern scientists also use the term continental drift for this motion. Unquestionably, it is one of the miracles of the Quran that this scientific fact, which has been recently discovered by science, was announced in the Quran. Iron is one of the elements highlighted in the Qur'an. In Surat al-Hadid, meaning iron, we are informed. And we sent down iron, in which there lies great force, and which it has many uses for mankind. The word sent down, particularly used for iron in the verse, could be thought of having a metaphorical meaning to explain that iron is given to the service of people. But when we take into consideration the literal meaning of the word, which is being physically sent down from the sky, 
we realize that this verse implies a very significant scientific miracle. This is because modern astronomical findings have disclosed that the metal of iron found in our world has come down from giant stars in outer space. The heavy metals in the universe are produced in the nucleus of big stars. Our solar system, however, does not have a suitable structure to produce iron on its own. Iron can only be produced in much bigger stars than the sun, where the temperature reaches a few hundred million degrees. When the amount of iron exceeds a certain level in a star, the star can no longer bear it, and eventually it explodes in what is called a nova or a supernova. As a result of this explosion, meteors containing iron are scattered around the universe and they move through the void until attracted by the gravitational force of a celestial body. All this shows that the metal iron did not form on the Earth but was carried from exploding stars in space via meteors and was sent down to Earth, exactly the same way as stated in the verse. It is clear that this fact could not have been scientifically known in the 7th century when the Qur'an was revealed. And we sent down iron, in which there lies great force, and which has many uses for mankind. In addition, the 25th verse of Surat al-Hadid, which refers to iron, includes two interesting mathematical codes. Surat al-Hadid is the 57th surah in the Qur'an. The numerical value of the word al-Hadid in Arabic, in other words, is abjad, is the same number, 57. The numerical value of the word Hadid alone is 26 and 26 is the atomic number of iron. In a verse of the Quran, the fecundating characteristic of the winds and the formation of rain as a result are mentioned. And we sent the fecundating winds, then cause water to descend from the sky, therewith providing you with water in abundance. In this verse, it is pointed out that the first stage in the formation of rain is wind, Until the beginning of the 20th century, the only relationship between the wind and the rain that was known was the wind's driving clouds. However, modern meteorological findings have demonstrated the fecundating role of the winds in the formation of rain. <laughs> 